Hey there, welcome back to Shadow Royale Gaming. I'm Morgan from Morgan V Films Tech, and today we're going to go over the question that a person asked about how to customize villagers and Hypixelify and Screaming Bedwars, and they really tried to beg me. Now, I am actually busy, so once in a while I will be um, basically, you know, not posting. So finally, we're going to post, even though I made a video that I scheduled many weeks later, but here is our plugins folders and all that so we're going to go into plugins then we're going to go to better wars so while we are here in better wars if we go into our arenas we're going to go into air show solos one so after so our first thing that we want to do is to open up one of our arenas through the arena folder and go into air show solos one or whatever you named your arena to be while you are in here you will be seeing all of these type of files on here scroll to the bottom where you see the villagers and coordinates don't change any of them unless you made a mistake so there's upgrade shop that yml that you should have available and shop that yml and you can name it store the skin if you have any sort of skin just import it into the folder and then put the put the um just import it into the folder it must be like a minecraft skin and then you put your skin as like the YML, but instead it says .png or .jpg. I recommend a JPEG because that's a standard, but PNG will work also. As we go back over on to is our plugins folder, back over here again, we go to Bedwars. So even though it shows Bedwars, many of you might be asking what's going on with Hypixelify, SBA Hypixelify. What we'll be showing is the config and the legacy shop, all of that stuff, it's like the format. So if we open this up right here, then it's going to be showing us all of these like other sort of things that Hypixel has. And then um, on the video that I made about like, uh, it's not that specific really, but basically for the um, pickaxe or whatever it can be, something with an ax, then you would have to change it out because of world edit. So you gotta, so you gotta change the item for that one. So now while we are in here, we will go back to Better Wars and we will go to shop. Just right here in shop.yml, you would want to make sure that your metadata is already correct. So if we just look right here for leather boots, this cannot be lowercase, it has to be uppercase, all caps with an underscore. And then the price will be one of, it could be emerald, diamond, iron, gold, anything like that properties and etc let me see if i can find the one i'm trying to swap in, in between two screens such as right here it's 64 for of 64 emeralds of emerald you have to put that there type is bow and then you can put your enchantments there too now some of these might you might have to actually put legacy but such as this one legacy underscore wool quantity what is it it's a block that's a category and then the um, definition that you see and the line break and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is just complicated stuff, but I'll have the shop.yml copied and pasted down in the description below. Just do control A, control C, and then control V into your shop.yml, such as control A. And then if I want to remove this all, I can just do that. But then I just do control Z to undo. Now, while that is there, I can go over onto is my folder. And we will also need is, um, hold on, let's see. So there is the cool store here too, which is just cool random stuff in there. But then you would have to go into SBA Hypixelify on your plugins folder. So while we are in here, you have his legacy shop and upgrade shop. Now those are not really there, but they do convert over on to shop.yml. So I don't really mess around with SBA Hypixelify. I just changed to shop.yml on is the better wars main folder on the plugins type of thing uh yeah so if you get it or not this is how you do it um and just to clarify things up here for um what's going on if you want to change the skin of the villager you go into your arenas folder you open up your yml or yaml and while you open up your YAML, go all the way down until like a, where you see about line uh, 200, 300, 400, somewhere around there. And then after you go through there, you will see upgrade shop.yml, shop.yml. If you see anything else with incorrect spelling, it will not work. With your name, um, just put whatever you think. 
But then in order to change the skin of the villager or shop on, just to make it look like Hypixel, I don't know what, who would do that, just to make it look like Hypixel, which is so much work. So right now it's a skin is null, so that's just the standard villager type that you have in your resource pack. But then if you want to add a skin to that villager, it has to be a dot JPEG, dot JPEG, or dot PNG. It has to be dot PNG. And then you have to put in just like this shop.yml, but instead it says dot PNG. You have to put the exact name of what the villager will look like. Or else it will not work. And then um, you're probably going to get like a purpley, a blackish type of villager that you don't want. And then right here it says is baby false, all that stuff, etc, etc, etc. And then if you want to customize it, just do, um, just go over onto the shop.yml, shop.yaml. Do control A, backspace, and then control V and control A, my Google Doc that I put in the description down below, where I put most of my um my things that I have in my shop. Now I'm Regan from Regan V Films Tech on Shadow Royale Gaming. Again, uh just go to the Screaming Better Words Discord for help, uh, because I'm busy with all of these stuff. Because I gotta manage my main channel while keeping you updated on your server plugins right here. So I might be making a video in the next month, in a week, two weeks, even longer. I don't know. But yeah, see ya. Shaka Mahal.